The accident and emergency unit of the whole teaching hospital in the Volta region has been experiencing serious congestion due to inadequate space. This development, according to management, is affecting healthcare delivery as the unit is unable to accommodate the number of patients who visit the facility. As the world marks international emergency, the joy news is Fred Kwame Sari throws the spotlight on the challenges hindering uh, quality health delivery uh, and emergency services at the whole teaching hospital. The whole teaching hospital, previously the Volta Regional Hospital, was established in December 2000 under the administration of the late Jerry John Rawlings. The facility, nicknamed after the contractor, Trafalgar, serves as a referral unit for other health facilities. Per statistics available, about 600 patients visit the accident and emergency unit monthly for various health care needs. The head of clinical services, Dr. Lord Mensah, lamented that the unit is overwhelmed by the numbers. The place technically is too small. It was built to serve a, 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 a regional hospital at that time. And now we have transited to a teaching hospital. The clientele base is increased. You know, we serve the Volta region, the OT region, and even beyond Benin and then Togo and Nigeria. So we have that population of patients coming. That means that the place is just too small. Due to the high number of clients, the unit admits between 40 to 60 percent above its capacity, leading to congestion. Officials are compelled to treat patients in wheelchairs and beds at the entrance and in the walkways of the unit. There is limited space for staff to operate, impeding the delivery of quality health care. Uh, as you can see, evidence base. We see that uh, currently uh, the structure for the accident emergency is uh, overstressed. Now, patients are being nursed both inside and outside. And uh, the state of the hospital, as compared to the structure we are having now, uh, does not match. Looking at the bed turnover rate now, which is very high, uh, people have been asking, why is it that always our mattresses are getting tall? and they don't understand. Uh, the turnover rate will tell you that at every minute, every second, people are sleeping on their mattresses. That is why when we buy the mattress, within two, three weeks, you see the Macintosh tearing off from the, the mattress itself. There is an urgent need for the expansion of the emergency unit to accommodate the huge number of patients who visit the facility. This would help take the whole teaching hospital a step closer to achieving its purpose. We have contacted some stakeholders who have agreed to support us with the expansion of the place. The expansion will come to give us that motivation to work adequately as health personnel. Another disturbing development is the faulty incinerator. The air in the entire area gets polluted by fumes during incineration. The whole environment is toxic. Fumes from the burning, the OPD emergency, and even go as far to the ward. So it means that we are exposing even the healthy one, including the patients, including yourself speaking, myself, into hazard. So we are working on that one too. We appeal to certain uh, philanthropists to help us. Some of them started responding. So we believe that within the shortest possible time, we will relocate the incinerator from where it is now to a better place. In commemoration of the International Emergency Day, there was a symposium to discuss factors affecting the effective delivery of emergency services and identify solutions to enhance it. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News. Oh.